FactSet is a leading provider of integrated financial data and analytics. And what I think really makes us special is the way that we are able to partner with our clients to find unique solutions to their challenges. And then internally, the way that our organization works together to find solutions for our clients so that they're better at what they do. At FactSet, we, we jumped on the generative AI train very, very fast at a time when so many other firms were blocking it, preventing it, or discouraging use, or frankly afraid of it, we jumped right in. And we said, how can we do this in a safe way so that we can really see the results immediately? And we have. And then to go a step beyond that, you know, we're building tooling where we are leveraging generative AI to teach where in real time, folks can be putting in code, they can be putting in prompts, they can be putting in free-form text, and we're leveraging it to teach in real time, in the moment, and meet our learners where they're at. But like anything in the tech space, it changes seemingly every single month, every single day, and for sure in the last year in the generative AI space, everything has changed. What we've been able to utilize from Pluralsight is some of the skills gathering and assessments to understand baselines for employees of, of where they come in on different technologies and then what they're able to do to really advance along that curve and be able to assess themselves and know what to do next and what action to take. Given the pace of technology, it's really important for employees to be on the cutting edge. So from a learning and development standpoint, we utilize plural sites so that our employees have more choice in that learning process. Everyone kind of has a bit of a different niche area where they have different needs and different ways of learning. So the way that plural site is flexible and adaptable and ad hoc gives people kind of the own control of their learning journey. When we are evaluating different partners, Pluralsight really began to stand out. And I think for me, it was around the way that they look at skills specifically and allow us to evaluate how employees are upskilling and how those results are showing up in the skills assessments. It's also the quality of the, the material that they're putting together and the feedback that we were getting from our learners that they were really taking something away and staying engaged in the learning opportunities that are available on the system. What I would suggest uh, any peers who are thinking about Pluralsight is to really think about the amount of effort it takes to create good quality learning content. And so what we've seen with Pluralsight is that they have a great expert network, they bring in content very quickly, and that it's relevant for the evolving technology. I am so proud of the culture of learning that we have developed here at FactSet. We really look to meet our employees where they are in the moment of time that they need to learn. Um, and Pluralsight gives us the ability to scale those efforts when we look at our technology upskilling. The impact that Pluralsight has had on FactSet has um, been pretty profound. We really believe that people are the asset. The company's important, the share price is important, stockholders are important, all those things. But I believe that if we support our people, the business can largely take care of itself because you have engaged individuals that have the skills that they need and the time to invest in themselves and the time to innovate. And I think that's really where it all comes from.